<laughs> Bill's getting riled up again. <laughs> I know, I know. You know, just a couple weeks ago, we had a, a prom fashion show, and as we get closer, we're going to be talking more about prom night. You know, the dresses, the dates, the dinners. It's an exciting part of growing up. It is, and for people here on Delmarva living with special needs, the excitement just got a major boost thanks to a little bit of star <laughs> power. Here to tell us more about it this afternoon, a night to shine is what we're talking about. This is Pastor Ethan McGee and Miss Susan Timmons of the Ocean View Church of Christ. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. Right, we won't talk about the event. We're going to find out what's going on. What's going on? And so, so first, um, tell us about. It's powered by the Tim Tebow Foundation, right? Right. What is that? Uh, well, Tim Tebow. You know, I think um, most people are familiar with with Tim Tebow. He. Uh, basically has started this foundation. He's using his platform, his fame to, um, the, the way he say, says it is to shine light into the darkness. And he, his, their passion is to fight for people who can't fight for themselves. Right. And so, you know, he, he does all kinds of things They're all around the world, uh, spends, you know, money, resources, just to, to, to fight for people who can't fight for themselves. And, and uh, so this event is really just a small part of, of that, their foundation. Yeah, because Tim Tebow, he really does have a strong message of faith, doesn't he? Yes, he does. He's, uh, and, and he's in, being in the spotlight and taking that stance for his faith. He's, you know, he's taking some heat over that. But one of the, uh, one of the things I appreciate, appreciate about him is he's using that platform for the good of the world and the good of the com community. And he's a... Uh, uh, a man of integrity that stood up against a lot of a lot of uh, things that have come his way. A lot of flack. Yes. So how does Del Marva play into all of this? So I mean, we we are uh, a, we're going to be one church of over 500 churches on February 9th that are going to host this this uh, Night to Shine prom event, and uh, there is a you know a great uh, community uh, out there of special need folks, and and we just we want to celebrate that and share the love of God with them and. And, uh, and just celebrate God's love for them and make yeah. them feel as special as we can. Now, Susan, I'd like, I'd like to note that, that you are the grandmother of a special needs child. Yes, so I am. you're very familiar with this event. So tell us, what happens, uh, what takes place at Night to Shine? When they first come into the church, they register and their parents or caretakers bring them in. The guests are then paired with a buddy. Every guest will have a buddy that will spend the evening with them. Then they will uh, go back outside and they will get in a limousine and Ooh. take a ride around town. And when they get back to the church, they will be greeted by paparazzi outside <laughs> cheering for them as they exit the limousines and come in to, on the red carpet. They'll walk in on the red carpet. The girls will then go into the beauty salon where we have uh, beauticians there from the community just um, touch up their makeup and to touch up their hair <laughs> oh and goodness. the boys will all get their shoes shined. From there they'll go over and all the fellas will get a boutonniere, all the girls will get a corsage and they will get a professional photograph taken which will be framed and ready for them to take home at the end of the evening. Oh my goodness. Uh, following that they will uh, then go into the uh, audit, uh, the main gymnasium where we have the actual prom. They will be served dinner, and there will be a DJ with dancing and karaoke. Mm. There will be a respite room for those that may be a little overwhelmed at time, where right. there'll be people in to play games yeah. with them. And at the end of the evening, they'll go back into the auditorium. All their parents will then be in there with them. While the children are not, they're really not children, while the right. guests are at the prom, the parents are downstairs with a special night for them. Oh, wonderful. And they will all be served dinner and have activities, and they will have a um, big screen TV so they can see everything that's going on. This is really a full night, isn't it? It is really a full night. Pastor, and that, do I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And Pastor, it, do I understand that Ocean View Church of Christ is one of only two locations in the entire state of Delaware? Yeah, there's uh, there's one up in Bear, in the Bear area, and, uh, and really those are the only two on the shore. Um, so we'll be drawing uh, I think we have a guest coming from Dover and in Maryland, and, and uh, so yeah, we're one of two on the shore. So Susan, who can attend the prom? Anyone with special needs can attend, whether they um, have cognitive delays or physical problems, and we have them coming from age 14 to age 50. 
So there'll be all ages of special needs people there. Do you still need volunteers? We, um, we have our volunteers for inside. We have okay. to get them ahead because they all have to have a background check. Oh, okay, gotcha. But we still could use some volunteers to be paparazzi outside to cheer them on as they come in. Awesome, that all is right. terrific. All right. Wow. All right, thank you so thank much you. for thank you coming so in and talking about this. For having it's us. All right, if you would like to read more about how you can help with Night to Shine, just go to domarvalife.com.